that I'm uh, not using very often but is quite interesting. When you look at the devices such as these ones, some customers what they would like to have is they would like to have this device to be numbered according to the PLC, the I.O. address it's connected to. So if we're connected to 001 slash uh, 0100, they'd like to see this device tag show up here because we have happened to be connected to the this particular address. Now, um, there is a feature in ePlan called number devices using the PLC data. And when you do use this particular uh, feature, we can number automatically devices and terminals uh, with that particular feature. Now, what is important is you have to uh, work on the format. The format here for, let's say, the devices, you have to uh, configure and determine what exactly you want to do with the devices. You want to keep the identifier, so you keep the identifier. You want to add the data of the PLC address, so you want to ask, uh, take the first level of the address. In this particular case, the first level of the address is 001 slash 00. If we would have a Siemens PLC, we would have a dot, and then we would actually make a difference between the first section and the second section, or first level, second level. We don't do this. For the terminals themselves, we actually take the complete uh, PLC address, and we assign the PLC address onto the terminal. Now, this being configured, and you can configure it the way you want, you're going to have the whole project numbered, and here you can see the different numbers that were found, and we re run up, renumber them. So you can see that we just happen to renumber the PBs accordingly, as well as the I.O. addresses. I, in a European format, it also works. In a European format, let's zoom in here a little bit. Let me just shut this off. Here we go. We have different addresses. We have, for instance, B1, S1, S2, S3, etc. And we have at the top the address E10.1, E11.0, E11.1, etc. If I want these uh, devices down at the bottom to be renumbered according to uh, a portion of the I.O. address, in instance here I would like to have B10.1, I would use the same feature, device, numbering using PLC data, and in here I would use a different configuration. I would basically use for devices I would use a configuration where I keep the I.O. address and because we have a dot in the address we actually do recognize a first and second level. The first level being considered the last digit, basically the dot one dot two, and the second level being the uh, level above it. Right. So um, once you determine the format you want, you can just renumber them and we should actually find here now uh, an S or B, uh, 10.1, uh, 11.0, 11.1, etc. So exactly what we would expect here to see. So this was a feature numbering PLC, uh, numbering devices using the PLC data.